Syringa reticulata, Japanese tree lilac. These are trees 25 to 30 feet high, usually with an oval habit. They can be single or multi-stemmed specimens. When they are multi-stemmed, they tend to have a more open or irregular form. The foliage is deciduous and the leaves are oppositely arranged. The leaf shape is simple, broad and ovate, somewhat rounded, two to five and a half inches long and about half as wide. The petiole is a half inch to one inch long and the leaves may have an arching or drooping habit as they hang from the stem. These leaf out early in the year. Leaves are dark green above and somewhat reticulate beneath. They may be glabrous or slightly pubescent. Ornamental features of Syringa reticulata includes a bark reminiscent of cherry. It is reddish brown in color with horizontal lenticels. The bark will become gray and scaly with age. On the stems, buds are sessile, subglobose, or not quite round, with four pairs of scales. The terminal buds may be absent or present in pairs. Flowers are creamy white in color, occurring on large panicles, up to 12 inches long, in mid-June. Flowering is effective for about two weeks. Flowers turn brown and unattractive after that. The flowers will give way to a warty, somewhat curved fruit, three quarters of an inch long, capsular in form, and dehiscent. Cultural information for Syringa reticulata. These are hardy zones three to seven and do best in full sun. They'll tolerate acidic to alkaline soil conditions, pH is five to eight. Disease and insect issues. These are somewhat more resistant to powdery mildew than other Syringa but still have an issue with scale, borer, and other problems. These are native to Japan and Chinese subspecies exist. Notes about Syringa reticulata. The prominent horizontal lenticels are a good ID feature and will help distinguish this from other lilacs. This is possibly the most trouble-free lilac and is an excellent specimen or street tree. Prune these after flowering, or if a plant, particularly multi-stem, is overgrown. These do extremely well under dry conditions and rarely suffer from drought problems, 